y'all, Country Fried Gamer 150 here. And the radio we're going to be reviewing today and demonstrating is going to be this Walker 2 by President. Um, it has a lot of cool features and a way that you can access the service menu uh, so you can change uh, the modulation uh, settings and the power settings. There's not a ton that you can accomplish by accessing those menus, but I will show and demonstrate how to get into them. Um, thanks to, uh, I think it was CB Radio Magazine, I think is the one um, that I saw a video on, on how to do this. So, this is not something I figured out, this is something that I watched uh, somebody else do. So, you know, give credit where credit's due. Um, I don't know who initially, you know, figured this out, obviously it's something that, something that somebody at president knows you know they, they obviously know how to do it but who is the first person to find out I don't know like out in the like buyer market I guess um, but anyways it's it's a pretty good radio and it swings about eight watts or so unless you like really push it with like a, a thousand Hertz tone and then it'll like boot up to like 10 but I mean really you know with what you do with your own voice you know that's kind of generally where you're really going to be swinging it's not going to be you know some really high pitch noise um but anyway so some of the cool features it's got obviously it's it's got the weather on it which obviously it's not going to do weather right now because it's on a dummy load but uh one issue i found with that though is that like sometimes it wants to stick on the weather which it's not doing it now but Sometimes it'll stick on the weather for whatever reason, but I find that if I just hit the mic once, and then it'll transition back to AM. Like it, it basically what it does is it shows, you know, your your channel number and your uh, frequency, but you still hear the weather being uh, forecast. Um, <clears throat> and you have adjustable power here, RF power. You can turn it down to, you can basically turn it to any watts that you want. I mean, given given the access to uh, the service menu, um, you can basically go with any watts that you really want. Um, you can turn it down to one watt, or if, if you have the power turned up a little bit, um, the lowest it'll go is like two watts. Like right now, I have it set for... Uh, dead keying five watts and the lowest it'll go is two but if you have it down to four watts then you can turn it down to one watt um, and also to you like I said you can change the modulation which there's going to be a part later in the video where I uh, showed uh, a receiving radio uh, the first one is going to be an old Radio Shack radio that was in the garage and I showed each and I uh, demonstrated each audio level it's kind of hard to tell the difference at the higher levels like between 100 and above it's kind of hard to tell the difference but obviously 50 is a lot quieter that's the lowest uh, audio level um, you also have a uh, talk back and uh, box which is like it's hands-free uh, talking um, just give you a little brief uh, demonstration you have your SWR um, you can change your microphone uh, PA uh, color key beep Roger beep um, not exactly sure what tone is dimmer and your emergency channels and you can change them to whatever whatever emergencies that you uh, whatever channels that you want um, you have automatic uh, squelch, um, and I, I think it's really uh, I think it's a really great radio. It's re it's pretty compact as compared to like the uh, Cobra Twenty Nine. It's it's really small compared to that, and it, it puts out pretty good power uh, for its size and everything. Um, but I will try to demonstrate this. This is going to be hard because I only have two hands. But we're going to see if we can. Uh, get into this service menu here real quick so what you do is just you hold down the mic uh, push the talk and then you also simultaneously press the weather button and the talkback button 
and turn it on all at the same time. And now they're in the service menu. Yeah, kind of hard to tell. But uh, yeah, so that says power level is 125. That's where I have it set at. And then audio level is 175. Now where it was basically, I think in the factory, um, I think it was, it's not focusing because of the color. <laughs> Um, because it's like well, a white color, and so it's not wanting to focus on it very easily. Uh, I don't know if I turn the uh, contrast is not really helping me much. Okay. Uh, anyway, so it's like set at 175 now for the audio level. It, at the factory, I think it was set at like 150, um, and I booted up to 175. Um, I think going max, like, the, the highest it'll go is like 190, but at least from what I can tell, you're not really gaining a whole lot. I don't even know if I'm really gaining a lot by going from 150 to 170. Um, if there is a gain, it doesn't seem to be uh, really substantial. Because um, even with the high tone, like, the highest it, it is like it goes up to like, 10 or 11 and like on the like 175 or or the the power level being uh, you know a little bit higher because I I have it set right now at uh, 125 which is which uh, dead keys uh, five watts currently let me turn that brightness back up here oh too much okay uh, so yeah it it's uh it dead keys about five watts come on focus um which i think that would probably be the highest that you'd really want to go i mean yes if we would lower this if we would lower this down to 120 because with the power level the lower the number uh the higher the come on <laughs> does not want to focus on that number but that screen's so bright all right. <laughs> anyway, so the lower the number on the power level, the more it's gonna, the more it's gonna dead key. So like at that, at 120, it'll dead key. Well, it's still saying like five watts, but it's like a little bit over five, almost six. Um, but yeah, I have it like at 125, and I think it was like 130 or 135. Um, before I changed it, and 130 is, a little over 4, so it must have been like 135, because it was like right at, um, it was right at 4 watts, but anyway, I, I think, I personally wouldn't go any higher than, than, uh, 5 watts and 175 as far as the modulation. Just in case if it, you know, clips or whatever, like, you don't want to do that. Like, you, you want a good, clean-sounding radio, so I don't want to go, you know, above and beyond. But after you get your different uh, audio level and your power level... Now, the power level is different. The power level... Um, I mean, the, the audio level is lower the number, the lower the audio. Uh, whereas power the lower the number the higher the power if that makes sense um <laughs> let me say that again audio level the higher the number the louder it is the louder it is higher number power level is lower number means higher power so audio level being at 120 which is the lowest that it will go is when you get your closer to six watts um, but yeah I, I think it's a really fantastic radio and I love being able to access uh, the service menu because you know if you wanted to change your dead key for whatever reason we know why some people do that <laughs> um, but yeah, and, and I, I like being able to, I like being able to adjust that, like being able to adjust the, 
the RF power and I'll just show that uh, so we got it turned all the way down here and like I said we we're at like 175 um, on audio and 125 on power this thing will focus there we go okay so we're dead keying about two watts a little over two watts uh, audio you see turning the power down turns the uh, turns the overall swing down We go halfway, halfway turned up. This is the 12 o'clock position. That gives us about three watts, a little over three watts. Uh, audio, audio. That's about six. If we uh, turn it up all the way here. Maximum. There's our five. Uh, audio. So about seven and a half, between seven and a half and eight. Um, obviously, like I said, if we send a tone into it, which I can do that. Hold on a second. So here's an unrealistic uh, tone. You can see it climbs up there at like 10 watts. But obviously you would never be able to achieve that with your voice. Uh, anyways, yeah, I think it's I think it's really neat. I really like all the features and um, you know, you have your noise canceling up here and everything. Uh, but yeah, I think that pretty much... Uh, sums it up um, like I said I'm gonna put the different audio levels and how they sound over the radio the first one's gonna be with my car out in the garage and the other one's gonna be two and a half miles away and I just I run through all the different uh, audio levels and what they sound like over the air I will say that the, having the audio level all the way down to like 50 which is pretty quiet there seems to be like some kind of a background noise that happens so I imagine it's not supposed to be set that low but I just wanted to you know test it at different levels just to see if the receiving end would actually notice a difference between them um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and take care and God bless and thank you for watching Audio level test.